Hello YouTube, Sarah Travis here, and welcome back to Karen Simulator. I remember this game, it was it was very fun. We have a lot to do in this game, I think. We have three places, plus there's another game mode, so this will probably be the last episode, but I thought it was pretty cool to have a couple episodes of something like this. We might do some more weird games like this, but anyways, hope you guys are having a good day, and hope you guys enjoy the video. As she drove around her town in her minivan, a ghastly sight caught Karen's eye. Through the rearview mirror, she spied that several strands of her hairdo had fallen out of place. Viewing her style as a pivotal part of her personality, she sought to rectify it immediately and made a beeline for her favorite salon. Without her signature look, Karen felt unremarkable and without identity. Little did she understand, it was not what made her unique. Okay, honey, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna go to this new haircut for out for a walk. Whatever. Don't worry, Mama Bear. We'll take good care of her. Oof. You're the best. Alright, well, let's see what happens to Karen. Oh, shit. It's her. Excuse me? Oh, my God. Rodolfo! Karen? What's the trouble, darling? Oh boy, what's up, Karen? Oh, I gave the same haircut. Oh, don't play dumb with me. That woman has my haircut! That's my haircut! You can't just give another woman my hairstyle. That's a violation of our relationship. It's basically identity theft. Oh boy, here we go. Seriously? Honey, darling, baby girl, you need to understand something. You don't own that style. You don't own any... anything. Suddenly, Rodolfo's face hardened. The veneer of the kind stylist evaporated in an instant, replaced by the cold and unreadable expression of someone who had just dealt with the likes of Karen too many times before. Oh boy. Rodolfo's good. Oh my god. Karen could no longer read her old friend. She was blind to his inner workings. You need to check yourself, Karen. I don't need this attitude in my salon. Attitude? What attitude? You come in here barking me over someone else's haircut? What do you want me to do about it? Isn't it obvious? When she gets back, I want you to shave her head. You can't be serious. Oh, I'm serious, Rodolfo. Oh my god. If you do it or I will. You're not touching my razor. I don't need your buzzer. I'll tear her hair out with my bare hands. Jesus Christ, Karen. So you better get that trimmer ready. It's happening as soon as she gets back. You're off your rocker, Karen. I'm not doing shit, and you're not the boss of me. So either shut your trap or get lost. You need to realize something, Rodolfo. I built this business. I practically made you. Without me, you've never gotten off the ground. Don't you make this emotional, Karen. It's not going to work with me. You're not as important to me as you think. Oh, man. Hey, are you going to cut my hair or what? Not now, Addison. I gotta put this bitch in her place. Oh shit, Karen. Get him. Our freak out meter is real fucked. Listen, Karen. You didn't invent anything. The style has always existed. People like you have always existed. You're just the latest version. Since the dawn of time, your kind have walked the earth, even before we knew how to speak. Oh my god, Karen's existed? Onk, onk. Oonk. Nah, oonk. Oonk, oonk, oonk. Oh my god, the bonk. Through the ages, your predecessors have been just the same. You exploit everything around you for your personal whims. Egyptians, even. Faster, you worthless dog. My tomb won't construct itself. Please, I need to rest. My body's going to give out. I beg, just a sip of water. Karen does not care for your troubles. Jesus Christ, Karen. Generations? The cruelty your type has dealt onto others has never known limits, even when the stakes are at utmost extreme. Utmost extreme stakes? It is blatant that this woman is a witch. There is no other explanation for her persistent youth and beauty. She has turned... My husband's eye wandering. Also, my crops failed, so... 
Milady, please. I'm only 22. I had nothing to do with your crops. Percy? Thou mustn't suffer a witch to live. Burn the enchantress before she hexes us all. It's gonna burn them? Oh, the stakes. Oh, that makes a lot more sense. It doesn't end with you either. Everyone knows that the toxicity you will create will always exist. Always. That's the sad part. That's the real sad part. Droid, I demand you accept the terms. Will you comply? One one zero zero one zero zero one zero 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 one one zero zero 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 one 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 zero one one zero zero one one. One zero zero one zero 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 one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero one one zero. Now, then you will be destroyed. Oh, thank God. So, Karen, do you understand? You need to get off your bullshit now because it's not going to work. I know all about you and who you are to the core. You're not special. You're not unique. Nothing about you is original, distinctive, or fresh. You're just a bad old trope. That's all we're tired of. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah? You only think you know me. Really haven't got a clue. Rodolfo, just let her do it. What? Addison, this is your mother we're talking about. Um, stepmom. Also, it'll make a great content. Girls, this is too much for me. Suddenly, it's my lunch break. I'm out of here. Do it, and I'll film it through the mirror. I'm back, sweetie. Hey, you're not going to believe this, but an officer was writing us a ticket as I passed by our car. I jokingly asked him if he could forget about it, and he just ripped it up. You don't think this hair could have anything to do with it, do you? Of course it did. Hold on. Hold still, you imposter. Oh, jeez. Karen fucked her up. Oh, my God. My hair. What have you done? Look at your hair. It's like the Karen, but without the... Oh, shit. That, that's real fucked up. What have you done? It suits you a lot better, you copycat. Just fuck, Karen. So wild. Don't forget to like and subscribe. What, we're already done with this area? So does that mean we only have one area left? We definitely got time in the episode. If this makes two perfectly, like, size episodes, it's gonna be amazing. Speaking of which, I really want to get back to Honey Pop and stuff, but, uh, Honey Pop's save file is kind of fucked, so I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay, so we have the restaurant food zone. You know what, let's go to the restaurant. I should be able to get all these done. If not, one more episode, I guess. I don't know. Karen was in a good mood as she approached the wine bar. It was time for her bi-weekly meetup with some other moms for the neighborhood watch. They'd become fast friends with petitioning for the local mall to remove some seasonal decorations that simply read, Happy Holidays, instead of their preferred festive greeting. Ever since they joined forces on that day, they had become unstoppable. As long as the tempers between them remain balanced. Oh boy. Girls, did I tell you about what happened with Jeremy's school yesterday? No, what happened? Well, you know the fundraiser I organized for his class. The one where all the kids his grades sold chocolate to raise money for football uniforms. Yeah, I remember. Some of the faculty argued it would be better if the money went to classroom supplies. They called me into a meeting and I tried to tell and tried to tell me that since all of the kids would benefit from extra computers or pencils or whatever, that it would be more fair to use this of the funds. That's just like them to try and control the situation. What did you do? I did what any good mother would do. Oh god. I gave them a piece of my mind. Jesus fuck. I don't know what her name is. I told them that if they wanted new school supplies, they could run a fundraiser themselves. Then I remanded, then I reminded them all my that my Jeremy was destined to go pro football scholarship. How unfair. It would be if his opportunities were stifled just so some underprivileged kids, I am really having a hard time thinking right now, could have what they call student essentials and have an equal chance at education. Probably should have done that the whole time. After that, I pulled my SUV across the parking lot and forced them all to stay late. Needless to say, they came to their senses. 
Jesus Christ. Oh, just jamming over there. Well done, Karen M. Oh God, it's the Karens, isn't it? Did I tell you about what happened with my physician? Tell us, Karen H. Certainly. It's the Karens. I'd gone to see him about a pain I'd been having in my neck. He had the audacity to tell me it was cancer. Cancer? That's pretty serious. Gosh, are you alright? Don't be an idiot, Joyce. It's obviously not cancer. I'd been drinking essential oils every day. On top of that, I just bought a new crystal. So clearly my doctor is a moron. Clearly? What are you going to do about it? Well, if I fired him on the spot. I also told him that I'm not paying for his consultation. Now I'm looking for natural solutions. Oh, that's probably better for you. Exactly. I'll take care of myself with some home remedies, medication, meditation, and vitamin supplements. That will see soon enough. I'll be fine without so-called science. Oh, the other day, I was at the Bullet Burger down the street. I ordered three triples, and they only gave me three doubles. I was going to complain, but I didn't want to get out of my seat once I started eating. Oh boy, did she drive the car? Nobody cares, Joyce. Seriously. Yeah, that's kind of true. Jesus, fuck. Joyce is just trying to have a good time, man. How you ladies doing? Is everything satisfactory? Was? Um, actually, I think this dish was supposed to come with salted almonds. Oh god, you stumbled on the long, wrong table, lady. Um, almonds? No, I don't think so. You'll see a mistake, and we don't serve that with almonds. Don't tell Karen she's mistaken. Are you calling me a liar? No, ma'am, I just meant that I don't care what you meant. Oh, God. This dish needs almonds to be good. Without the almonds, it's not the same. Well, we don't serve it with almonds here. I can bring in the menu if you'd like. Oh boy, what would Karen say in this situation? I just want some almonds. Go get me some now. Oh my god. God. It's not really that hard, sweetie. Well, I don't think I can. It's like I was trying to say. We don't carry almonds here. The chef is deathly allergic. Oh boy. What? I came here for premium service and top-notch dining. Now you're telling me to accept a cut-rate experience because you hired the wrong chef? This is outrageous. How about I go check the bar for you? Yeah, go do that. Oh boy, please let there be almonds. It's hard to find good service these days. You're really gonna give them hell to get it. At least that's how I see the situation. Wait a minute. Yes, you're so right. Oh, it's that guy. Never mind. I thought it was a waiter and it reminded me of a movie. Oh my gosh, Karen S. Who's the hottie? Who, that guy over there? Yeah, he's really good looking. I think he's flirting with you. Is he flirting with Karen? Because he's got a lot coming. You think? Why, just last week there was an incident with the valet near here. I gave them my Mercedes and they returned it without replacing the air freshener. It was horrible. Like, do they actually expect me to drive home and sit in their employee's stink? It's inhumane. Oh, you're so right. What did you do? Well, I did the only sensible thing. I bought the business, fired the entire staff, and sold it to a holding company. Made quite the profit off the whole ordeal. Jesus Christ. Oh my, that's certainly one way to handle things. This man. I'm Karen, by the way. What's your name? Oh, how rude of me. I'm Karine. Pleasure to meet you, charming ladies. I bet there's going to be, like, chapters to this. Jeez. Wow, he's really charismatic. Yeah, you better look out. Aren't you married, though? Shut up, Joyce. Yeah, it's just some harmless flirting. Plus, her husband is no prize bull anyway. He's only middle management. So true. I keep telling him to get a promotion so we can have more money. Then he just has the audacity to tell me to get a job. Oh, I thought she was going to defend her husband. That's, that's kind of shitty. So unfortunate, our bar doesn't have any almonds either. I'm so sorry, but there's really nothing I can do. Well, that's not good enough. Ahem, the lady's right. I'm sorry? I said the lady's right. This simply isn't good enough. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. That's where you were wrong, sweet cheeks. Take this money. Run down to the store and buy her some. You can keep the change. Um, wow. 
That's... Wow. This is more than I could make in a month. Whatever. Just don't take too long. Got it, honey buns? Uh, yeah. I'll be right back. Wow, that was incredible. You saved my evening. Ah, uh, it's nothing. Money is all it takes to grease the wheel sometimes. It's a shame not everyone can afford to get what they want all the time. That is a shame. Ha, uh, yeah. I imagine it would be very frustrating to expect certain things, but be unable to afford them. It sure is. If I weren't so rich, I'd probably be furious all the time. Anger is really an economic issue, you see. Jeez, fuck, is that why I'm so angry? <laughs> oh, I. Never mind that theory, though. Can I get you ladies another bottle? Yeah, they're all they're all having it. Yes, please. Great, I'll just wait for that waitress to get back. Oh my gosh, Karen S. I think you've got him in the back. Yeah, for real. This could be your big chance. No more fighting at the mall when discount hunting. No more arguing over coupon validations. You really think so? Absolutely. With a man like that in your life, you'll never have to settle again. They had salted almonds and a honey dipped ones. I bought both and hurried back as soon as I could. Here you go, ma'am. Is there anything else I can do for you? My shift here is almost over. Actually, yes. I was hoping you'd go get her another bottle of wine on my tab. Certainly. And since you're nearly done, would you come with me to my yacht? Oh boy. What? I mean, now that everyone's taken care of. Yes, I'd love to come see your big boat. Oh my god. Um, you're not going anywhere. You think you can leave me in the middle of our service? It's our birthday dinner. You'll have to bring us cake and sing if you're not going anywhere. Yeah, I only turned 48. I mean 32. Once. Look, you four won't be abandoned. I'll have another server come and take care of your truck table. I'm gonna get your bottle and I'm leaving with this gentleman. No, I don't think so. I won't let you. Fine. I'll stay here with your table. I don't need to go, I guess. Plus, who wants to have fun on a boat when they could stay here and service you ladies, right? I'm glad you see it my way. Karen's just jealous, man. So young, miss. That's no on the yacht? That's definitely a no. Yeah, she's staying here. With us. Sorry, Karen. Well, alright. Have a good night, ladies. Okay, waitress? Yes? We'll take the check now. Oh my god. Karen, what the fuck? Achievement unlocked, party pooper. Yeah, I, I'd say so.